first off, before I do start the cardinal signs, which I will start off with Cancer, I just want to apologize for, like, making these videos so far off into the month. I just, I've been in a Piscean whirlwind, no lie, and I'm just now getting back to, like, a space where I can really formulate thoughts that might be a lie but you get it <laughs> but I won't go too long on this I'm gonna do another video about uh, the new moon and just uh, the collective energy of March and beyond because I feel like it's potent and it just needs to be it definitely just needs to be talked about period so cancer Cancer March 2019 in Pisces season. Pisces mutable water cancer cardinal water. Whew. With the Mercury retrograde, Neptune and Pisces. Sun and Pisces. You know what I'm saying? North node in your sign this year. It could be a lot. It could be a lot, a lot of uh, intense whirlwind emotions, um, past, a lot of, you know, dealing with the past, not only just spiritually, but then this physical plane, uh, clearing out relationships, um, clearing out spiritual and mental blockages that have kept you in your crap shell. I know, I know, I know this is not Kansas. <laughs> I know this is not the easiest month. It can be a productive month as far as creativity for Kansas, but it's not easy. Especially this is like a closing out Pisces season. To me, this is not the typical Pisces energy feel. What I tell you in the last one, February, cancer to stop. <laughs> this Virgo, whoever this Virgo is in your life, whether it was a relationship, an intimate relationship, a family, a family relationship, a friendship, it's time to close that shit out. It's done. That that thing is done. I was wondering why I was taking you so long to talk. Like you ain't got nothing to say. It's Pisces season. <laughs> You ain't got nothing to say. Nothing. Third house. Mercury retrograde. Like, you ain't got nothing to say. But I see. We're gonna have to get stuck off stupid, boo. <laughs> Let me be the first to tell you if nobody, nobody else will. You gotta get, get off of that. That, that, that relationship... If it's gonna happen, if it's gonna come back, it needs to come back organically. It organically, it doesn't need to be something that is forced. It doesn't need to be something that you are like really trying. The balance, Libra, Mercury. The balance needs to be um, rejuvenated in this relationship. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a Virgo. It could just be somebody with Virgo and energy, you know, who exudes Virgo qualities. Um, especially, you know, it's funny. I've been talking about Virgos all day as far as communication. For, for Virgo to be so mercurial, it's very hard for Virgos to communicate. Because as hermits, we do live in our heads a lot. And... Trusting somebody or allowing somebody to come into our center, into our center home, into our center space is one of the hermit's worst nightmares, believe it or not. Um, so yeah, we currently don't have any planets in Libra that I know of. No, we don't. We don't have any planets in Libra actually Aquarius yes Gemini moon right now as I'm recording this but 
there is no Libra in the air. Um, this can also not only just be in a relationship with a Virgo, um, this could just be around your life, like cleaning up, cleaning up, getting organized, you know, taking that Virgo energy to get centered in um, things that need to get done before Aries season. Uh, Vir Libra is Aries' opposite sign, so more so what needs to be done for me which is Aries, Libra is like, what needs to be done for us? What needs to be done for, you know, the partnerships that I'm in, the people that I'm surrounded by? Like, what needs to be looked at, reviewed, analyzed? Because you are definitely getting the signs. Like, it's not like, you know what I'm saying, like, the shit is going on and there's no signs. Like, all the signs. The universe is trying to communicate with you through um, uh, people, through, you know, synchronicities, through objects, through music, um, through uh, the things that you see. So really take, take time to look at the things that you are seeing. This also is a big indicator of, with this blue, this throat chakra, this throat chakra energy. So speaking speaking on your needs you know pisces is a very passive aggressive sign um cancers is all, also can be and less provoked a passive aggressive sign but we are not in a passive aggressive um year nor a month this is not the year to be passive aggressive you know not to say that you can't be passive about some things because not everything deserves like a quick response or a quick action or notion, but just know that this is not the year to be mute or, you know, put feel like you have to put yourself on the bottom, you know, or lower yourself to adhere to whatever collective is around you or people that are around you or things or situations that surround you. you. This is the time that you step in and break it out of that shell and be like, bitch, is what I said. You know what I'm saying? Like, very sharp. Mercury and Virgo, very sharp with the words. Um, Mercury and Gemini is out there just really being, really being clear. You know, Libra's not necessarily crystal clear. Really being clear about what it is that you need, even if it comes off as um, sharp or um, like a little bit aggressive. You need that. You need that. You need to start letting people know, like, nah, this is actually a boundary. You know what I'm saying? Um, finding that balance within relationships and people and just saying, actually, you, you know, I'm not, you know, before this goes south, I just want to let you know that you are either about to cross a boundary or you're crossing a boundary, and we just can't have that. And you don't have to go back and forth with nobody about it. You don't have to, you know, break it down, tell them why, why you feel, and just let people know, like, Yes, boo. You are. This is. Let's not. Let's not even entertain that shit. Let's not entertain it. Um. Yeah. Whatever it is that you're working on right now, and this could be anything. This could be in a relationships. This can be in business. Um. And whatever you're working around, you know, locally, you know what I'm saying. Keep working at it. You know, you might feel like it's not progressing or you might feel like it's not um, making the stride. I'll call it back. Um, not making like the strides that you want or the strides that you are looking for right now in particular. But this is just the seeds. See, this person is in the field. It's the harvest. You know what I'm saying? I know it doesn't really come till fall, but just the notion of somebody planting their seeds, you know. Um, for now, like this is the time to plant those seeds. So by spring into summer into fall, you just flourishing and blossoming. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, Virgo. I mean, <laughs> Virgo, this is not about you. Yeah, it. <laughs> yes, Cancer. Um, take that time, and um, I'll see you in April. Okay.
Bye.